The H bridge is not a component, but a certain circuit that's based on four transistors. It is used when the DC motor is hooked up to the circuit. Every motor can spin clockwise and counterclockwise depending on the way the 5 volt and the ground are connected. Only when the H bridge is added to the circuit, you're able to control the direction the motor is spinning in. Before I explain the logics behind the H bridge, you must have a DC motor with two wires soldered to it. The blueprint of the circuit that you see here can be downloaded in the description bar below. What you need for this circuit with the H bridge are the following components. An Arduino Uno, a breadboard, jumper wires, 4 NPN transistors, 4 220 ohm resistors and a DC motor. The blueprint of the circuit that you see here can be downloaded in the description bar below. A NPN transistor can be seen as a digital voltage sensor. When there is a high voltage on the middle pin, the left and the right pin become connected. As you can see, there are four transistors for the H bridge needed. All transistors are plugged in the breadboard. The black wire goes to ground and the red wire goes to 5 volts. When the Arduino is linked to the middle pin of every transistor, there should be a resistor added in order to protect the Arduino from delivering too much current. I will now explain how the motor can spin clockwise. The motor can only spin clockwise if the Arduino set spin 6 high. As you may see, the blue wire is attached via a resistor to the two middle pins of both transistors at the bottom of the breadboard. You see that the white wire connects the transistor at the bottom left of the breadboard to 5 volts. Because pin 6 is high, the current can pass this transistor and flows to the yellow wire of the motor via the second white wire. The current passes the DC motor and returns via the green wire and the orange wire to the transistor at the bottom right. This transistor also allows the current to pass, because pin 6 is high. The current now flows via the second orange wire to the ground and the circuit is completed. Now in the next example, pin 6 is low and pin 7 is high. In this situation, both transistors at the top of the breadboard allow a current to pass. The current will now flow from 5 volts on the Arduino to the green motor wire and via the yellow motor wire back to ground. Let's examine this in greater detail. The current flows from the red wire via the green wire to the transistor on the top left. Next it goes via the second green wire to the green wire on the motor and the current returns via the yellow wire, both the brown wires to the black ground wire. As you now understand, when pin 6 is high, 5 volts is connected to the yellow wire on the motor and when pin 7 is high, 5 volts is connected to the green wire on the DC motor. Via this circuit including an H bridge and a DC motor, you are able to decide whether the motor turns clockwise or counterclockwise. When this principle is applied to a small car, you are able to have a car move forwards or backwards. 